So The Price of Altruism is a book about a man by the name of George Price, who was born in New York City in 1922 and killed himself in a squat in Kentish Town in the winter of 1975 in London. And the reason that George Price is a fascinating and highly unusual character is because he wrote an equation which explains a very, very deep mystery that goes all the way to, back to Darwin. And that mystery is the mystery of the origin of kindness or of altruism. Um, and here's the mystery. The mystery is how can it be if evolution is a process of survival of the fittest that a behavior which reduces fitness, which lowers fitness, survived over time? Why, why wasn't it kicked out by natural selection? Why do we find um, cases of bees who forego reproduction altogether and all they do in life is help their, their, their sisters uh, brood? Uh, why do we find in basically everywhere we look in nature, from plants uh, to amoeba to bacteria to um, social insects and different kinds of birds and mammals and chimps, why do we find this sacrificial behavior? And what's the connection between this sacrificial behavior that we find in, in nature and altruism in human beings? So George Price, who was a sort of Rain Man kind of Forrest Gump character, very, very brilliant, um, very strange socially, um, decided that he was going to crack this problem. But he decided out of nowhere, I mean, he had nothing to do with evolutionary theory, theory before. Um, he, was, he had worked as a chemist at the Manhattan Project. He had worked at IBM as a kind of inventor. Same thing at Bell Labs. Um, he tried his hand at writing. He, he moved from thing to thing. Every few years he changed course altogether. And in every place he did something very brilliant and then totally disappeared. Until um, at one point, at the end of the 60s, he decided to basically leave everything behind. He had already divorced and left his family, but he was going to leave his job now, leave his family, leave his country, come to England, and crack the great mystery ever since Darwin of the evolution of altruism. Um, and what happened was he arrived in London, wrote this equation, didn't believe that it, it was him who wrote it, because how could it be that, that he, out of all, all these great minds who have been trying to crack, the, crack this great mystery, had come up with it, um, went off the street into the biostatistics department at uh, University College London, showed it to the professor who was just totally dumbfounded, whose jaw fell, uh, totally dropped to the floor, uh, and gave him a sort of visiting professorship, um, and then went home to think about what had happened. And like I said, he was, he was this Rain Man sort of character, so he thought about coincidences in his life. He thought about it mathematically. All kinds of very strange coincidences, like having four girlfriends whose name was Anne in his lifetime, uh, or having digits in the last, the last digits of his phone number being 2399, which to him meant a minute before midnight. And he, he basically multiplied all these coincidences and came up with an astronomical number. It made no sense that he should have that all these things should have happened to him. Uh, and, and George Price, who was totally, totally uh, rationalist, scientist, didn't believe in God, ran, um, ran into a church and became an evangelical Christian. And I see that my kind assistant <laughs> has brought the book. This is the book, The Price of Altruism. And this is George Price. You see a very handsome uh, man. Uh, ran into the church and became an evangelical Christian uh, on the spot. Um, and then went back home and started thinking about the meaning of the equation. And what it meant to him was that if you could write a mathematical equation, a very short and beautiful and simple equation, that could explain the evolution of altruism, what that meant about altruism was that it really was never actually genuine and pure. It was always interested, whether it helped the gene or the individual or the group, there was always an interest behind, some kind of ulterior motive behind the action. And this was a terrible realization for George Price because what it meant was that there was never really, there, there could not be in this world ever pure goodness. And so, um, fathoming the, the sort of the depths of this terrible realization, he decided that he was going to try to transcend his own mathematics by, in his life, in his, in his own actions, proving that true selflessness, true, true, pure altruism was indeed possible. 
Um, and uh, the book tells his story. It's incredible. He, he, he basically went out to the streets and began helping hobos, uh, feeding them, giving them money, representing them uh, in, in, in the court when they were dragged there by, by the law, uh, inviting them into his home until he himself basically had nothing and became one of them. He had to leave his home. Um, he was down to skin and bones. He had nothing to eat, no food, no money. Um, and no one knew him because he was a total, total unknown. He had come from America. This is the end of the 60s, beginning of the 70s. Total unknown, total outsider, um, very solitary. And the only people who recognized his brilliance, who recognized that he had done something, that he had fathomed a really deep truth um, that's relevant to all of us, the origin of altruism, the only two people in the world, basically, who knew that, were the, happened to be the two greatest biologists of the two, two of the greatest biologists of the 20th century. Um, uh, in any case, two of the great evolutionists of the 20th century, um, Bill Hamilton and John Maynard Smith, and they were trying to they were trying to save him, uh, but to no avail. Um, and he went and dwindled and dwindled and finally um, killed himself. So uh, the opening scene of this book is his funeral, where there are very, very few people. You can help, you can count the number of people on two hands, uh, and the majority of them were homeless uh, men who came off the street, totally grimy, um, hadn't bathed for months, uh, with sweaters that they had taken from the bins, small, um, in the in the winter, the dead winter it was very cold that winter of 1975. Um, who came to who came to show their uh, final last respect to a man whom they loved very much. Uh, these, these people, plus the two greatest scientists, of, um, biological scientists of the, of, of the era. Um, um, and until this very day, George Price is buried in St. Pancras uh, uh, Cemetery in, in, in London with no tombstone on his grave. It's, it's just a, you wouldn't know that it was there unless you went and, and found the, the, the plans of the cemetery, the cemetery plans. So this is really a book about um, a very tragic but incredibly insightful life um, about a man who found a, a very, very deep truth that pertains to all of us. Uh, and also, in a way, it's a book about um, what science can and cannot say about the spirit. So uh, I hope you enjoy the price of altruism, and thank you very much um, for your time.